Hello everyone, bonjour, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another Times of Wear review. Today we will be talking about my Burberry trench coat. If you are here for the first time, hello, I am Naya and I am a minimalist. Because of that I like to add things of higher quality so that they will keep around in my closet for longer and define my personal style for longer. And on top of that I write down what I wear every single day so that I can keep track of whether or not the items that I have added are doing good in my wardrobe. I added the trench coat secondhand. I found it in a local secondhand store and I was ready to add something of high value to my wardrobe and a Burberry trench coat is something that I had wanted for years. Before I added my Burberry trench coat, I already knew that I am someone with a cool toned skin tone, which means that cool toned colors are always going to suit me and the rest of my wardrobe the best. So before I went looking for a trench coat, I already knew I needed something in a cool toned tan rather than the more traditionally warm toned honey. So initially when I looked for the trench coat, I knew already that I needed something cool toned and when I found something perfect, I added it to my wardrobe and because it fits in so beautifully with the rest, I have also gotten around to wearing it a ton, which is what we should be talking about and we will do that now. I bought this trench coat secondhand for 700 francs and then I paid an additional 70 francs um, for the tailor to take it in at the sleeve because it wasn't a perfect fit when I first bought it but this is one of my favorite tricks when you're looking for something secondhand when you find something that doesn't fit perfectly. A lot of things are quite easy alterations that a tailor will be able to do for you quite quickly and that is what I did with mine. Since then, I've done a few things that I definitely could have avoided if I wanted to, but I've had some alterations done by the, the sleeves, by the bands on the sleeves. Then I've had some issues with the buttons that I got secured at the Burberry store. So in the end, with everything, I have spent 815 Swiss francs on this trench coat. Since I bought it approximately 400, Days ago, I have worn it a total of 54 times, and that means that right now this trench coat is down to 15 francs per times that I have worn it. If you're a regular to my channel, of course you know that cost per wear is extremely important to me, and when you buy something of really high quality, there is a much bigger chance that something will last you a really long time time. So the reason I have invested into spending more money having altered this trench coat to perfection for me is that I am expecting it to stick around for years. I am not seeing this as a piece that I will ever get rid of. It is a classic and it has been so for decades, so I'm not assuming that that is going to change anytime soon. Like mentioned, I have worn it 54 days so far. That averages to once per week, actually, since I bought it. And when you look at it from a perspective of living in a temperate climate, there's been many times a year where this just hasn't been appropriate weather-wise. Here in Switzerland, where I live, in winter, a trench coat is just not warm enough. So there are three to four months out of the year there where I won't really be able to use it. And the same goes for summer. There is like four, maybe five months there where a trench coat is simply too hot. Right now we are going straight into fall. We are nearing October and I've also seen an increase in how much I've been wearing the trench coat. It is definitely something I reach for whenever the weather is appropriate and when it isn't I just don't. My trench coat was really the first high quality piece I added when I decided uh, on making my wardrobe consisting of less but better pieces. So it's really nice to see my first great piece make it to a year plus and see that it has absolutely no sign of wear. Both no sign of wear but also no sign of deteriorating in perceived value to me because one of the things I also find that is with things of less quality that we just buy on a whim is that even if they don't deteriorate, which they often will, in quality they might do that in the value we put on them. And with the trench coat I added from Burberry, I feel like I have like the Ferrari of its category. In general, I'm less inclined to go out and buy lower quality pieces or add lower quality pieces because when you have something at home to reach for that is just such a classy piece in and of itself, all of a sudden everything you take in 
in that same category would have to compete with the Burberry trench coat for wear and that is very hard because I feel extremely stylish in it. This is a trench coat, but just speaking of fall appropriate jackets, what I usually wear is I will wear something like a blazer or the former trench coat that I had, but it has just been my real life experience that these pieces sort of um, start pilling or the seams will open or they just lose some of their value or start falling apart rather quickly. Having this trench coat, like I mentioned, there's literally nothing wrong with it. But the thing with this trench coat is that it was bought secondhand um, for like a third of the price. And even though it looked brand new and in perfect condition, it might not have been. It might have been worn by someone. I mean, there's no way I can tell if this had just been stored away and never worn for 10 years and then sold, or if someone had actually just worn it uh, a bit or more and then maybe had it dry cleaned and then of course it was pressed before it was put for sale in this secondhand store. And that's the thing with secondhand pieces, you don't really know what history they come with and some of these awesome quality, really sturdy uh, items, when they have been worn and if they have been taken care of, it's just so hard to tell how much they have been worn, at least that's what I'm experiencing with the trench coat. In the time I've had it, I have had it dry cleaned twice. I mean, I never used to dry clean my clothes, that was super rare, but now that I have better things, I do get them dry cleaned whenever they get dirty. And I'm definitely someone who lives my life to the fullest, even if I'm wearing nice things. So I have had the need to dry clean the trench coat. And both of the times that I have picked it up from the dry cleaners, I've been like, oh my God, it looks brand new again. And that just goes to show that even as you wear the trench coat, if it start looking like a little bit like it's just being worn and being used, it's literally just that. It gets a little bit, or in my case, quite dirty and then one trip to the dry cleaners and it looks like the day that I bought it. I also think, however, another good point to mention is that a trench coat is really in line with my style and the color, this neutral, goes really well with the color scheme that I have for my wardrobe. So it's quite easy to wear it. It goes really well with nearly everything that I have. It's very rare that I put together an outfit and then think to myself, um, no, the, the trench coat doesn't work here. So of course that's also worth mentioning that it is just something that fits in with my style really well and the color I picked, which is just paramount to have it fit in with the rest of your wardrobe and actually appreciating it over time, has also worked out really well. I was actually quite excited about making this update just because, like I said, it is sort of like the baby of my whole experiment. I've been able to write down every time I've worn it and finally able to like share with you guys how this piece has fared. And overall, if I could sum things up, it's just been really, really worth it. Once you add something great to your wardrobe, something that you really want, like I did with this trench coat, and you really assess what you want about the piece you want to add, color-wise and other style choices, and then have the patience to wait adding what expensive or high-end item it is that you're looking for until you find like a second-hand thing within your budget or just the right thing turns up. Once you then add that thing, you will be able to wear it much more. You're more inclined to wear it much more. And when you are someone looking to build consistent personal style, it's just so important that things can stick with you for a really long time so that they will define your style for much longer rather than having to always add something new or what you find attractive at um, the time. If you liked this Times of Wear review, please don't hesitate giving the video a like so that I know it really does help out my channel. And if you're here for the first time and not already subscribed, then consider doing that because I make videos like this one about these topics all the time. And I would love to keep you around. Thanks for watching guys and file.